Brian Sensei here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Amazon Music Player for your desktop, where you can discover music, play music stations, purchase music, subscribe to podcasts. I'll even show you how to download your purchased songs to your desktop computer so that you can use them and play them anywhere you'd like. Let's dig in. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is install the Amazon Music desktop app. We need to do this by using the Microsoft Store. So we'll go ahead and search for the Microsoft Store in Windows and click it to launch. All right, so when it loads, we're going to come up to the top and search for Amazon Music. And here it is, Amazon Music app. We'll click here. All right, when this loads up, you're going to see a button to install the app. In my case, I've already installed it, so it reads open. All right, once you've installed it, to bring it up, you're gonna go ahead and search for the app in Windows, Amazon Music, and go ahead and launch the app. When you first launch it, you're gonna to need to sign in using your Amazon account. All right, so here we are in the app. The first thing I'm gonna show you is my library. Currently we're on home. We also have a podcast section, but I wanna show you my library first. So I'm gonna go in here to library and you're gonna see I can look at my music or my podcasts. Let's start with music. When I click here, I'm going to see recent songs and artists and albums that I've played. Next to that, I'm going to see my playlists that I've either added to my library or that I've created. So I can create my own playlist. All I have to do is click here, create new playlist, give it a name, classic rock. And you can decide here if you want it to be public or private. I'll go ahead and leave it public. By making it public, it will allow other users of Amazon Music to listen to your playlist and add it to their own libraries. They will not be able to edit your playlist. I'll go ahead and save. All right, so here I have my new playlist labeled Classic Rock. If I click into it, you'll see there's no songs in it yet because I need to add those songs. Now, the Amazon Music Player is similar to a browser. You have your back and forward buttons in the top left corner. I'm gonna click the back button to go back. All right, next to playlists is artists. Here, I'm gonna see all of the artists that I've either added to my library or these are artists that I purchased songs from on the Amazon Digital Music Store. I can scroll down through here and I can click on an artist. This will actually show me all of the artist's content. However, if I click up here at the top right, if I click library, it will filter the list to only show me songs that I've either purchased or added to my library and then the albums that those songs come from. And here I can also play these songs by clicking here the play button. Down at the bottom is my playback controls. You can see I paused it there. I can click here to replay the song when it ends. I can click here to start from the beginning or I can click here to skip to the next song. Now this final button is my shuffle button. You can see that it's already set to shuffle. I can toggle that on and off. All right, let's go up and hit our back arrow. Next to that, we're gonna see albums. This is gonna show us all of the albums that we've either added to our library, or these are albums that contain songs that we've purchased from the Amazon Digital Library. And finally, to the right of that, we have all songs. This is our entire list of songs. These are songs that I've either purchased from the Amazon Digital Music Store, or I've simply added them to my library so that I can easily access them. And of course, we can go down and find a specific song we wanna play. Let's go ahead and find that Cars song. Again, we can play it here. And you'll notice off to the far right, you'll see a check mark. The check mark, whenever you see this, it indicates that you've added this song to your library. The more menu to the right has other options. In here, we can view the album that the song comes from. 
we can go ahead and add this song to a playlist. So I created a classic rock playlist earlier. Let's go ahead and click here and add it to that playlist. All right, this is gonna show me all of my playlists that I have created or have control of. I'll go ahead and add it to classic rock. All right, song was added to playlist. Also in this more menu, you're going to find a share option, song credits, you can edit the metadata, you can shop for more music by the cars, buy the song if you haven't purchased it yet. And just as a call out, if you see the download option here, that means that you've already purchased the song, so you don't need to go buy it again. Here you have the option to play similar music to this song. And then finally you have that download option. So currently this song exists in the cloud on my Amazon account, but if I wanna download it to this specific computer I'm on, I can go ahead and do that right here. I'll click download. You can see it's downloading. If I click here, it's gonna show me progress. Now you might be wondering where do the songs go once they're downloaded? You'll find them in your music library. Go to your file browser, then you're going to go to music. Then you'll see a folder labeled Amazon Music. Click in here. You'll find the artists. In this case, we downloaded the cars. Open that up. Then we'll see the name of the album. Open that up. And here is the individual MP3 song. So we can play this here on our desktop as well. <laughs> Here I'm simply playing it in the Windows Media Player. And of course we can use this on other devices or use it in other projects we're working on. Okay, back to Amazon Music. Let's go ahead now and click on our library and we'll go to Podcasts. So this will show us the latest podcast episodes from podcasts that I follow. If I go to shows, I'm going to see the podcasts that I currently follow. And that leads into our podcasts section of the music player. We'll see here at the top the podcasts that I follow. If I scroll down, I can discover other podcasts that look interesting to me. Or at the top, I can search for keywords to find a podcast I'm looking for. Or down here, I can click into categories to find the podcast I'm looking for as well. I'm gonna go ahead and search for rock music. All right, here we're gonna see artists, we're gonna see stations, playlists, songs. But if we go on down, we're gonna find the podcast category and we'll find search results based on our keyword. Rock and pop stories, that sounds interesting. I can click into this. I can listen to the intro, I can listen to some episodes. And if I like it, I can go ahead and click follow. And again, this will show up in my library where I can go back to podcasts, see my shows, and see my latest episodes to begin playing. All right, and finally, let's look at the home tab. In the home area, you're going to find recommended playlists, albums, podcasts, music based on your purchase history and your search history. And of course here you can do keyword searches for specific music you're looking for or you can browse by genre. You can also click see more to see more genres. In your results you'll typically find playlists. These are nice because they've already been curated by others and you can quickly add them to your library. We can click on this for example. And I can scroll through and take a look at the songs. I can shuffle and listen to some of the songs on here. And if I like what I see, I can go ahead and add this playlist to my library. Just click the plus icon and you'll see that it's been added. So again, we can go back to library, music, and playlists. Here again, we're seeing our playlists and playlists that we've added to our library. All right, and that's how you use the Amazon Music Desktop Player. 
Let me know in the comments if you like this app and let me know if you have any questions. If you want to see more of these videos, consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification button so you can be notified every time I post new videos. If you have a specific tech tip you'd like me to create, please let me know by completing the form in the description below. And I'll see you on the next one.